Hello, welcome to a new rolling project pan update in a different space. This is my boyfriend's room. I just filmed a get ready with me where I explained everything that happened. Not, I mean, not everything. What happened on my trip, why I um, have been away from home for three weeks and am still not in my house. Uh, so that will be posted hopefully. I don't honestly know which one's going to go up first. Filming them today on the 12th. Um, probably this will go up first because it's already late but anyway check that out if you're curious but this is my boyfriend's room his cat is right here if she wakes up i'll show you we'll be the end of the video she's curled into a little ball right now i apologize if the audio is different if the lighting gets weird um anyway i only have the makeup that i brought with me on the trip but i did bring everything in this project so i can still film the update Woo! that shows you how often I use these project products. Um, I actually updated my makeup spreadsheet with the uses as of the June update and these products, I was, I was thinking of doing another um, 100 uses video, but like literally all the prod products are just from this project. So I thought that might be kind of boring. Um, and right as I said that, I remember that I forgot to update the numbers of total uses for each product. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then I'll actually start this update. All right, I think everything's should be back in the same place. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, so since I was gone, I was traveling, and then I got sick. My uses are all far less than usual, except for one product, which is about the same. So not a lot of progress. Nothing's rolling out, but that's okay. I made some good progress for how little I wore makeup, I think. So anyway, let's just get right into it. First up is my Clean Fresh Foundation. I am down to here. You can see the basically the bottom of my post-it that I put on this to keep track. So I'm right to the end. There's not a lot left. I use this pretty consistently as far as makeup goes. I used it 12 times this month, which is far less than uh, the 20 to 30 20 to 25 it uses about half as much as usual but I still made a good chunk of progress so I think this will definitely be done in two months it might even be done by next month or like almost 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 done so we'll see about that that's really exciting um yeah I've used this quite a bit so cool next is my eye primer this all uh this is so dark I'll put a the comparison pictures I think last month and this month I'm definitely making progress it's the product is moving around I only used it 11 times this month and I don't know how I feel about using this whole thing up I think I'm gonna keep working on it for now so one thing that I actually forgot to mention in my get ready with me talking about the trip is that for a couple days I had like a sty type of thing like my eye got all swollen and irritated and it hurt and I like obviously that could have been caused by old makeup this is some of the oldest makeup I have and I've used it a couple times since then and nothing has been bothering me but like I just don't really feel motivated to use it up and then maybe make something like that happen again so anyway I'm definitely still making progress it has changed since last month it looks different it looks more used um but it might be rolling out sometime soon, but I'll keep it in for now. Next is my eyeliner. Um, I was able to make a slight mark, so I know that it has gone down slightly this month. I've only used it eight times. That's what it's looking like now, and I will show you the paper, even though you might not be able to see it. You can't really, but it's the the on the line of the this line of the lined notebook. Um. I'm definitely still making progress. I've used like half from the beginning of the year so like if I really accelerated my progress I might be able to finish this this year because we're only slightly past the halfway mark of the year and we're slightly past the halfway mark of the eyeliner. But either way I did not use it a lot again because this is quite old and also like eyeliner is just kind of a hassle to take off especially when you only have a face cleanser on vacation you don't have like you know I usually have a micellar water at home or, you know, some sort of more aggressive, <laughs> for makeup at least, cleanser. But I didn't have that. So I didn't wear this a lot. Maybe I'll try and pick up the pace, do some more crazy looks at night um, when I don't have to see anybody, and we'll see what we can do. But yeah, eight uses is all I had for this guy. Alright, next is my bronzer. 
and um this is what it was looking like last month and here it is today you can definitely see there's a dip in there with the shadow but I think it looks about the same um, I used it 11 times not a lot definitely more like in terms of percentage wise I used it basically every time I did my makeup which is pretty good and um, you know progress is progress and I did use it as an eyeshadow quite a few times so I think that helped narrow my depth anyway I'm still hopeful I can just hit pan on this by the end of the year that's my only goal um, but we will see next is my face powder this is what it looked like last month and here it is now I don't know if you can quite tell but I've expanded my like hitting pan again quite a bit I have a bunch of splotches of pan where the product used to be um, it's definitely I've been hitting it at an angle I think you can tell by the progress and um, I will just continue using this. I used this 22 times this month which is more than in March. Yeah more than in March so that's pretty good and um, yeah I've been more into powder these days. I'm not exactly sure why maybe because I had to wear a mask a bunch and so I was like powdering my face but this has been getting quite a bit of use and I'm happy so I'm gonna keep going hopefully I can finish this within the next couple months definitely before the end of the year I think anyway next is my lip gloss um it was at the B before I'll top the B now it's at the A I will maybe insert a picture but um, I've made about the same amount of progress maybe a little bit less than the past couple months um, and I've used it way fewer times, I've only used it 39 times, as opposed to 49 last month and 74 the month before. Um, yeah, I considered getting rid of this because I used it when I had COVID, but, um, I don't know, I don't really care. I used it today. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's fine. Um, I feel like two months at most for this because I know that I can't get all the product at the bottom and, um, and so if I use, it would take me like two more months of the kind of progress I've been making to get to the bottom. And so if I know that I can't use all the product that's at the bottom, it has to be less than two months is what I'm thinking to use up the rest of it. But we shall see. Um, I'd be really happy to see this go. This is my oldest lip gloss. And then I can move on to another one. And I have been enjoying it. But it's definitely not my favorite. So, yeah. Next is my Glossier concealer, which I rolled in last month. Um, I think I'll put up comparison pictures because I'm not sure you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can't really see anything. Um, this looks about the same as it did last month. It's kind of hard to tell because the angle of the photo is so flat on. Um, I, just, I mean, I have pan. I still have pan. I've been using mostly the sides. You can kind of see my like finger imprint across the pan where I dip in. And so the progress hasn't really been visible but I have used this 20 times I used it the most out of anything because it's easy to put on concealer and basically nothing else and like concealer and powder that was basically my my thing and some um, brow gel uh, which is not in this project so that's that I'm happy with it it's just like cool to keep track of um, next is the eyeshadow from ABH called Bon Fresco um, this is what it looked like last month and no, I'll just put up comparison pictures. It looks about the same. I've used it 12 times, which is pretty good, um, all things considered. Um, that honestly seems a little bit high, but um, anyway. I did a lot of, you know, just like a transition shade and basically an in inner corner highlight kind of looks this um, trip, so that makes some sense. And I'm still on a side pan, which is my goal, but I don't know. <laughs> we, we probably, we made some progress, so yeah. Better than nothing. Um, I'll, I'll do a bonus side pan, I guess, even though, again, it will be hard to see, but this highlight that was in my project pan last year, I finally hit side pan on. I don't know if you can really tell, but that was thrilling, so, yep, 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 yep. All right, next is the, um, lip liner, which wasn't in one of my things anyway. Um, this is what it's looking like. It was basically, I haven't sharpened it because I didn't have a sharpener with me. So yeah, I've used up what I can. I honestly don't know if I have a sharpener at home. So I might roll this out just because I cannot sharpen it. But hopefully I will find a sharpener. Um, I've used this six times. Does not surprise me. I don't really like lip liner. 
and I didn't have a sharpener so it was unpleasant to use but I did use it six times I used up the whole nib that was there so that's nice um yeah I'm not really sure what to do about it I don't know I guess I'll decide I'll decide in this next month how I feel and finally is my cream shade from elf this is what it looked like last month and here it is now as you can see there's an actual dip in it now it was pretty much flat last time there is a dip um yeah i've been using this a lot i used it 16 times um and a lot of it every time i used it i used a lot of it so um yeah and i also use like a wider brush and a more pointy brush i feel like i can hit pan on this by next month i think so that's my goal and that would be really exciting to have two pans in this palette. Um, I have used the other shade a couple times and I actually really enjoyed this orange shade as like a um, blush topper specifically because it goes with the cream blush that I have had with me so if I needed to wear a mask I could like you know set everything on my face um, and these are all still kind of uh, illuminated powders they're not like highlighters but they are not matte so I could like have my face done you know and have it be the finish that I wanted it to be but have it all kind of more, a little bit more set than usual so I've been really enjoying having this palette in here um, I'm glad I decided to roll it in that's everything that was really quick but like I said I haven't used things that much um, I haven't hit any goals I think the only thing like the thing that's really disappointing is that I didn't have a sharpener for this and I kind of didn't put two and two together <laughs> I've been meaning to sharpen it basically since last update and I can't really do anything but um other than that everything's kind of chugging along um yeah I'll update you if I decide to stop using anything because it's too old and it irritates my eyes I hope that that's not the case but it could be um so yeah there's that thanks so much for watching if you want to check out other updates from this I have those in a playlist called rolling project pan 2022 um which will be in the description box and maybe I'll put in the cards and um, if you want to check out any other projects, I have a couple going on right now. Uh, I have a Panless Eyeshadows project, a Stardew Valley themed um, kind of usage project, and the deck of painting project, all of which are really exciting. I should have some um, updates for deck of painting and even the graveyard project pan before too long. Um, so if you want to check those out, stick around, subscribe, whatever, um, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!